Alright guys, welcome to the very first video of machine learning in geospatial data. I know many of you are excited to learn about machine learning deep learning application in geospatial field. So I will try to explain everything from basic in this playlist. I hope you will understand and learn the key things about recent trend of machine learning and deep learning in the field of earth observation. All right, so here is the playlist content outline. So first of all, I'll try to explain what is machine learning and how it works. And after that, I'll try to explain the type of machine learnings. And then I'll try to implement the machine learning algorithm in the scikit-learn library. And after that, I'll slowly move my progress to the uh, geospatial field so i'll try to show you application of machine learning in geospatial field so as i mentioned in the this content outline so my first video will just to explain the machine learning basics and i'll not try to engage the geospatial data in the first few contents slowly i move the content in the geospatial field and i'll try to show you how machine learning works in geospatial field. The machine learning is a branch of artificial intelligence which is also known as AI and computer science which focuses on the use of data and algorithm to imitate the way that human learn, gradually improving its accuracy. So you can see the diagram below. Here uh, I have the input training data set and then the input um, expected outputs as well. So we feed these things into the computer which is also known as like machine learning model. And then uh, it will take some time to learn based on uh, like training data set based on our input and expected output it will try to find the pattern and after that uh, we'll get the uh, ML model and then we'll we can simply predict on the unseen data set as well that's how the machine learning works so first of all I want to talk about the machine learning basically there are two popular type of machine learning one is supervised and another one is unsupervised and there are other other types as well uh, which is known as semi-supervised and reinforcement but these are not that popular so i'm going to only talk about supervised and unsupervised here so the supervised learning is the uh, predicting the values based on the known values that means uh, in the training set we will have the uh, input data set uh, which uh, target value are known and then we try to make the model and then uh, we try to either classify or predict the uh, new value based on regression line and and the type is unsupervised learning in unsupervised learning basically oh, we are trying to uncover the hidden pattern of unlevel data so if you see in the picture so in the unsupervised data we try to make the clusters based on the similar pattern of the data and in the supervised learning we try to either classify the values or uh, try to predict the new value based on the known values known as training sets and inside supervised learning we have two type of problem as i said before uh, one type is classification and another type is regression so if you see in the image so classification means uh, basically denoting which class the uh, sample belongs to uh, let's say in case of weather we we have the either cold weather or hot weather if we classify the target value into two classes uh, then uh, it's classification problem so uh, it will help us to solve the question like will it be hot or cold tomorrow but in regression we are trying to uh, trying to detect the exact temperature of the uh, future weather so uh, regression will be useful for uh, like 
uh, solving the question what will be the temperature tomorrow so it will say 84 degree Fahrenheit so uh, the regression kind of problem will give us the exact value whereas classification give us the class either cold or hot so to train the supervised model so we we need to fulfill these three conditions so first one is our input data set does not have any missing values if it has missing value either we will need to fill the values or we, we need to remove them from the training sample and and the thing is data should be in numeric format so basically it's just the simply the mathematics so we need all the data set in the numeric format let's say uh, the numbers from 0 to um, infinite uh, basically the finite number and but there should not be should not have any category let's say like cold temperature is denoted by either 1 or 0 and then hot temperature is also either denoted by uh, 1 or 0 so in this way we, we need to uh, categorize i mean the change the categories into numeric value if we are trying to solve the classification problem as well and another common uh, requirement is our data should store in either in pandas data frame or in numpy arrays so that uh, we can manipulate with data and then train our models okay so for training the supervised learning there are several machine learning models so i list out seven most popular machine learning models here so uh, basically there are k nearest neighbor linear regression logistic regression support vector machine decision tree random forest and boosting algorithm but there are lots of other models as well but most popular model are these and then uh, in this playlist uh, I am going to discuss about each module and then uh, I am going to talk about how to train the model and then how to predict uh, the uh, values okay so basically uh, the basic or workflow of machine learning will look like this so first of all we will have the input data set which is also known as training or testing data set and then uh, second step is to we need to clean the data set or pre-process the data set we need to remove the uh, missing values we need to uh, like standardize the data and also we, we might need to like make the standard scale based on our input data set and then we'll fit this data set into the machine learning training models uh, these models are the most popular model are here so we, we fit this data set into any uh, uh, one of these models and then we try to predict the uh, value and then if the value is uh, most of the value is accurate and it uh, fit our requirement then uh, we we consider this as the result and then we consider the model is the best model if the value is inaccurate then we try to like tune the hyperparameters and then train the model again and then try to predict so basically uh, whenever we are satisfied then we, we simply make it as the result so that's how the all the machine learning um, models work so i hope you enjoyed this video and then i'll see you in the next thank you for watching